Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Altechnic. Now before we start this video today, make sure you hit subscribe because then you'll be updated with all of the content that we upload to our social media channels. Now today, we're gonna to take a look at automatic air vents and the importance that they play in the system, but also we're gonna take a look inside so you, the installer, know exactly what you're fitting onto the system. So first of all, why do we fit automatic air vents or air vents onto the system? Well, it's simple really, it says what it does on the tin. We're taking air from out the system. Now air within any hydronic system causes problems, whether that be cavitation through pumps, cold spots, air locks, all the sorts of things that we don't want to have within a the system, these will help remove that. Now generally, traditionally, we install them on the highest part of the system. Now the reason for that, as the air gets into the system, it will start to rise and it will rise to the highest point. So if we fit automatic air vents, as that air starts to rise, then what will happen is it will start to exclude out the system and then we're going to be air free and the system will work as clean as we can. Now I said we're going to take a look at what's inside, so let's go over there now and take a look inside the valve. So first of all, we're gonna take a look what's inside this air vent. So simply remove the cap and that's gonna expose the inner workings in an air vent. And unfortunately, it's probably not as exciting as what you thought it's gonna be. It works simply off a float mechanism. Now, if you think back to old traditional toilets with a ball float or into your header tank in your, in your loss space, we have a valve that as the water level drops, the valve drops, it starts to fill up, and then as it rises, it closes off. Now, this doesn't work in any different way to that. As air starts to accumulate within the system, as resting place, it's, it sits at the top. As air starts to accumulate, obviously it becomes lighter, the float drops down, the air passes out, and as the water passes back up, the float goes back up and it closes out the exit to the valve so no water can pass through. So it is as simple as that, it works off a float mechanism. Now on the top here we have the exclusion cap, so we take that off, we can exclude the air through there, and then simply we can lock that back off again to make sure that no water passes through should you get any debris within the system. So that's how the float mechanism works. Now there's also another feature we have on our air vents and this is called a service check valve and this is a really interesting and really good feature that we have. So simply this works as a check valve. So you install that onto the system wherever you're gonna install your air vents and in there that just works as a check valve. If you can see there, it opens and closes. But when it's on the system, it remains constantly closed. There's no water coming through there. But then as soon as you put your air vent in there, and you start to screw it in, as you can see, the disc starts to open so it can work as normal. So for servicing, if you've got to replace one of these or swap it over, that's find isolation or drain your system down, you can simply remove it from the check valve and that's how that one works. So that's the inside of this air vent. So secondly, we can take a look in, inside this air vent. Now we've got a cutaway here, so it's a little bit easier to show you what's inside. Again, similar workings, but not exactly the same as the previous one. This has got some different features which we'll talk through. We've still got the float mechanism, so as the air, as the air enters the system, the float will drop down, the air will start to escape. As the water comes, the, 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 the float will rise to the top and switch off. Now, what's slightly different about this one, it doesn't have that float mechanism as we saw before. It's where we had the chain and the link opening and closing the valve. This one works in a slightly different way. Now, because it's cut away, you can't necessarily see it properly, but this, this area here always remains dry. There will never ever be any water that enters this, and that's really to sort of eradicate issues with dirt getting through the system or debris. But what happens on this one is, as the float starts to drop, you can see this spring inside there. That spring will be forced down as the float drops. That will allow the air to exit. Because it's on a spring mechanism, as the water starts to fill back up uh, inside the air vent, inside the chamber, that will go back up and it will allow that, uh, that piston to go back to its resting position. So that means that nothing else can pass through there. So that's a really cool feature now. But what that does do also is it almost offers like an anti-vibration feature for it. So sometimes in systems, if you're close to pumps or you've got resonation through the pipe work, Air vents can suffer through that because of that micro vibration there. Because this one works the way it does, because there's not anything, actually anything in contact with, with where the air goes out, you don't get that. So it's very much an anti vibration measure. So it, it adds to the lifespan of the, of the valve. We often get asked about the black plug on the side. You know, can we return it around? Is there different ways? That, that we can do this. Now that is there to be able to put that part in. From a manufacturing perspective, we screw that sort of centre part or the air vent into there, and that's why that black cap is there to cover that off. So people sometimes think if you take it out, they can vent through it. No, it's there to hold that in place never sh should you ever need to service it or from a manufacturer's perspective. So that's the inside of this air vent. Well, thank you for watching today's video on automatic air vents and what's inside the product. I hope you found it useful. Now, if you want any more information on any of our products, head over to our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk. Thank you for watching.